fellas, Mugman here, and welcome back to Mugman Plays Super Mario Odyssey. So in the last episode, we pretty much explored the big city in New Donk City, and well, we reestablished power to the place, and we enjoyed ourselves a bumpin' festival. And in this episode, we're gonna take some time to explore the Seaside Kingdom and figure out what the heck that octopus is doing slurping up all the water. All right, what do you got to say about this situation, buddy? Bubblane used to be a beautiful resort until that foul creature showed up. Just look at him, guzzling all of our treasured sparkle water. Won't you help us put a stop to him? Of course! Anything to help out the citizens of this lovely kingdom. But first, let's do some exploring. <laughs> Goombas with pirate hats. That's kind of cute. All right, so I assume we got to do some stacking. So let's just be careful and... Aww. The purple coins are shells. Or seashells in this case. Ah, <sighs> Memories. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. I'm sure the Goombas are important in some aspect. Right? <laughs> Mm, probably not. They were just there for show, I suppose. But there's a pipe here. Where this leads is where I'm curious. All right. Oh, it's one of these. We gotta feel it out. All right. Vibrations are kind of low. Wait. Oh, they're intense. No. Here? No. No. I can feel them. Look here. No. Okay, I'm trying to feel it out. Really getting much of a sensation in this. Here? Nope. Maybe I gotta. No. Not there. I can't use the R stick because, you know, bad camera angles and all that. I mean, we're on a freaking, you know, bird's eye view. Hmm. Gotta be around here somewhere. Wait. Here? Nope. No. Gotta be around here somewhere. Mario's getting so dirty from this. Just look at him, he's covered in sand. It's really thick and coarse, it just gets everywhere. What? We got the power moon! Oh, come on, it's even the same color as. Mm. I'm getting a lot of freaking memories of Kala with this place. First off, it's by the sea, the color of the moon's is purple, just. Mm. I wish I could have her join, but unfortunately it... Keep. What does that mean? Okay. But yeah, I know you guys have been asking to have guests, but the thing is, like, recording with the Switch is a bit different. Alright, so these are the goals for the glass half empty, so I need to hit all of them. Alright. But yeah, um, it's a little bit different. Look! Bowser Prince! Which way did he go? Well, judging by this big old chain thing that... Yeah. Whoever plugged up the fountains wasn't messing around. Yeah, I can definitely agree to that. But what in the world is that thing? All right, let's go take a look at that. All right, what are... Oh, it shoots water. Okay, it... You know, it still surprises me every time that happens. You know, just the big blue eyes, the mustache, it just... It's something else. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this is to jet forward, and this is to jet upward. All right, so, all right, there we go. Okay, so we got another power moon, so I'm guessing when we get the power moons, we can break open the canisters, and then we can hit the switches, right? Let's find out. But yeah, anyway, getting back to my main point, sorry. Um, recording off the Switch is a very different process, and the recording software we use, OBS, um, it doesn't stream very well on, you know, like, Discord and such, so it's a little bit trickier to do, you know? Ow, oh, wee! Try all you want, I will never surrender the delicious sparkle water! We'll see about that- whoa. Uh, what the- Okay, so he's got lava on his head. Oh, he is mad now! Three fountains left! Let's hop to it! Three? Wait, hold on. Oh, there's one over there. Well, that makes sense. Let's go take care of that one. Alright, so each of the fountains has a plug type thing. If the water pressure was stronger, it could probably launch us! Probably! Maybe once we unplug all these things, it will be. So yeah, 
um, streaming off of PC games is easy for us, which is why we can do guests. But when it comes to, you know, Switch games like this, it's not as easy. Unfortunately, I don't think it would be stable enough to have guests, so yeah, sorry. We'll see if we can make it work in the future, but I'm not holding my breath on it because it really is a bit trickier in this case. Unless someone can offer some technical help, which we'd really appreciate, uh, it's just gonna be solo for a while, so figured to address that and let you guys know what's what. Sorry. Anyways, we gotta focus on getting power moons and saving this kingdom from that giant nasty octopus. Alright, I'm sticking this being a Goomba because it looks like there are some coins to be collected from this. So, might as well stick to the tower! Honestly, it just looks funny, just five little Goombas with one just running up and... ah, they're, they're here to say hello to the cute little pink Goomba. <sighs> I'm getting so many flashbacks here. I really do miss her, it's just... Mm. But still, at least the moons are pretty. I do like that every single... Whoa! Kingdom has a specific moon color. You know, it makes it more interesting that way. All right, is this a multi? No, it's a heart. All right, now let's just watch ourselves and, ooh, what's over here? More of the purple shells. Awesome. All right, so, ooh, that was a good thing we went up here. Let's break these boxes and let's throw it leaves. But seriously, who makes a path with boxes blocking it if they're not trying to hide something? All right. That's another power moon, and that's another one of these fountains. Unplugged. Seal above the canyon. All right. Definitely don't need as many moons for this particular level as we did the last one. So this and the snow kingdom are going to be short. Although I am going to try and find as many as possible before making my part. All right. Pop the cork and smack. That's what you get, you nasty octopus. Excellent work. Just two fountains to go. Yep. All right, down we go. And ground pound. Because honestly, I don't want Mario to have to suffer from shell shock from a fall like that. All right, what do you got to say? <laughs> Tried to get the power moon in there, but alas, I'm not fleet of foot and could not outrun the danger. Well, don't worry. I took care of it for you. You're welcome. All right, flip up. What's over here? More of those shells. I'm really collecting a lot of these. Hold on a minute. There's something back here. Even more shells! <laughs> really collecting a lot of these, huh? Alright, is there anything back here? Oh, there is! I see spike balls! Alright, so where do these lead? I'm seeing steps! Whoa! That was close! Alright, so let's go up the steps. Golden Goombas are here. More shells! Seriously, this is a, quite the shell shock! <laughs> Alright, enough joking around. Let's see where all this platforming gets us to, eh? Are these little Goombas. Oh, there is a... a seed? Where can we plant this? That's a good question, actually. Where can we plant this? Uh, I've got a seed. Anybody got some dirt? Or a pot? Hello? Hey, you! Do you know where I can plant this? Because, uh, I'm just holding this thing... Okay, you don't know. I'm gonna go look for a place to plant this. Alright, uh, over here? No, but there's a lot of coins, so might as well collect them. Maybe I gotta plant it back there? Can I swim with this? Oh, I can. Alright. Anybody know where I can plant this thing? Hmm. I'm confused. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anywhere to plant here. I guess this isn't... Wait, hold on a minute. Is that a... No, I thought that was a plant underwater. More shells, though! Definitely more of those. All right, let's just gather them up, and let's go. All righty. Freaking. Where do you plant this thing? There's gotta be, like, a soft patch of freaking dirt somewhere that you can plant this. Because, seriously, who else would they give you this seat? I gotta be focusing on getting those freaking things on court. I gotta be focusing on this seed. Maybe over here? Yeah. Wait, hold on. That patch does look a bit fertile. Nope. I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm gonna go take care of this problem first. Alright. Hmm. Seems to be a lot we can do underwater, too. So there are some underwater challenges we can face. 
Let's focus on... Wait a minute. I think I found where that seed goes. Hold up, I'm going back. I will get that thing again. Because I think that's where it needs to go. I mean, it was kind of obvious in retrospect, but I mean, I don't know. Friggin... I gotta go all the way back right now. Shoot. Probably shouldn't have left it there, though. To be fair, I didn't know that was where it went. Oh, well. Up we go again. Well, it is fun to explore, I suppose, so I guess it's not too big an issue. Just gotta be careful how I jump. That's all. Whoop. 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 Got it. All right. Okay. No, I just want to... Yeah, okay. Grab it. There we go. Now let's take it to that little patch and... Okay, that must be where you buy the hats. Is that big Nessie? Seriously. Look at that stack of hats. Alright. Throw it! Oh, I said... Alright, let's get it there. No. Grab it. And throw it. No. Wait, do I have to ground pound this? Okay, it was just a bunch of Goombas. What? Okay, so... Ugh. Forget this. More important things to focus on. All right, let's talk to you. Let's see if we can get an outfit for this area, at the very least. Oh, okay, we can get a more tropical look. Yeah, let's change our hat, and let's change into this resort outfit. I think we can at least feel more in tune with the area. All right, and we're all set. Well, of course I'll return, but I got more shells. All right, now we're really looking the part. Okay, so wait, where did we end up? Oh, whoa, boy. Let's get you. Wait, whoa, that's burning hot. Can we just spray water on it? Yep, that seems to be the case. All right, so we can jet forward to hit it with the, um, the water. Oh, if you combine them, it actually gives you more distance. Oh, but if you run out of... Oh, okay, well, that's kind of nifty. All right, so how much of this can we clear out? Oh, quite a bit, actually. It's a, it's a pool. All right. So, stop jetting upward. Let's just spray it around. Ah, that's where the moon is. Ground pound, and let's grab that sucker. Under the water, no less. All right, the hot spring seal. Literally hot spring, because that thing is on fire from lava. But, took care of that, and that's three down. Which means one more to go. I'm guessing once we uncork the last one, it's boss time, so we gotta fight in our hands. Boom! Eat this! That's gotta hurt, though. Like, enemy or not, getting corked in the head has to hurt. Just one more fountain to go! Let's get the last one! Well, I will, but first things first, I saw a treasure chest. And you know what they say, X marks the spot! I mean, it wasn't a power moon, but... I'll work with that. That's that. That is cool by me. All right, got a speed flower. Oh, using that lets you run across the water. That's actually pretty freaking convenient. Not gonna lie. All right, there is a little. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right. Well, let's head on over there because I saw a freaking uh. What's the word for it? Uh. A lighthouse? Yeah, lighthouse, I think. Wait, there's something over here, too. There we go, I suppose. This is a giant pipe. Oh, it is! Alright, so we're gonna need the cheap cheeps for this one. And yes, I do know that they are cheap cheeps, not bloopers. Bloopers are the squids. I addressed that in an earlier episode. Alright, so let's go explore it. Okay, let's gotta be careful not to run into other cheap cheeps or. Whoa! Eels! Ow! Big eels! Okay then! Gotta watch out for that! There! Wow! Okay! Yep! Nope! Not a fan of that! Nope! That's some Super Mario 64 level! Nope! Just nope! Okay! Do that! Whoa! 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 Was not ready for all of that! Alright, let's grab this, get our health back. Let's get these shells, because why not? Seriously, what the heck, man? All right. There's got to be a power moon at the end of this path, right? Right? Wait, really? No power moon for all that? Come on. Unless... This leads to... Oh. 
Well, that's clever. All right, well, that's the last one, I suppose. I wasn't expecting to get this power move. I was hoping for a bonus one, but... Eh, what can you do? Now then, with the last one broken up, let's conk this guy in the head one more time. And... Boom! Take this! Oh! Right in the face! Oh, man, down he goes. Oh, he does not look happy with us. Yep, he's pissed. Ugh. Great! Time to take back the Sparkle Fountain! Uh, yeah! Take it back! So the question is, how in the heck are we supposed to... Wait a minute. I got an idea. Using this little guy, I think I found a way to fight him. Alright, let's go. Because my theory is this. He's got love on his head, so maybe the best way to fight him is to clear off the love. Ah, it seems to be working. A little bit, anyway. Whoop! We need to keep our water supply fresh. Maybe we've got an entire ocean fresh back. Alright! Okay, so it's just clear the water, the lava off the head. No need to ground pound in this instance. Alright, so just gotta make sure to hit him enough times with the water, and we should be good. Oh, I thought that was like a special item or something. Alright, so do we have to ground pound him? Because honestly, I'm not too sure. Alright, gotta get close. Alright, go. Come on. Do him. Do him. Oh, we just hit him with the water. Alright, and that causes him to like spin away. Alright, so every time you hit him with the water, it's like a stun. Got it. Alrighty then, mister. Get over here. I'm gonna smack you with my water. Get on up here. This. Alright. Nice. Dang it, how is he still not down? This is one tough octopus. Again, it's purple. It is all of this stuff reminding me of home. Maybe after all this is done, I can go to Inkwell. You know, just to catch up. Well, I'll take care of that later. What the? Was that a shell missile? It was a shell missile. Well, I'm not gonna let that stop me. Get over here! And... Is that it? Nope, that ain't it. This guy's persistent. Alright, well thankfully, since we're stuck in the water most of the time, we don't run out of... Whoa! There goes all the bonus health. Alright, um, Hang it, just go down already, you stupid octopus! Come on, get in range! Got him! And I think that takes care of that! Whoa, careful Mario! His head's gonna blow! Or, he's gonna blow! Seriously, he just went kaboom! But I mean... Whoa! That is some beautiful imagery. But that should get us the multi-moon. Alright. That takes care of that. We still need one more moon before we can go, though. So we still got some exploring to do. Alright. Glass is half full. Well, it's certainly going to be full now, that's for sure. And off we go. Wait, what was that in the background? Is that a toad? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah, My goodness, amazing. what a pretty sunset! It's so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. Oh, but it doesn't seem like Bowser is in this kingdom anymore. Shall we head to the next? Well, we would, but uh, we don't have enough moon. We need at least one more before we can go. So let's see if we can find one real quick. I notice something. There was a toad, I think. Is it over here? No, that's a power moon. Okay, but how do we get to it? Wait. I think we need to get one of those octopi. Or octopus, like, bubble things. And we can get that, and we can, like, jet stream our way up there. Worth a shot, I suppose. We just buy one from the freaking uh, shop, not about it. Because they do sell power moons. But let's see if this works. I mean, if it does, it... Oh, we gotta do it this way. Alright, careful. And out of water. 
Okay. Up. Alright. That actually took care of it. Awesome. On the cliff overlooking the beach. I think for this kingdom we're good, but... Yeah, let's head to the next one. Splendid. It looks as though we've collected just enough power moves. Yep, and that'll put us to 107. Now let's see what the Snow Kingdom is like before we end this episode off. I mean, we can explore it a bit too, because we definitely got the time. We got through this kingdom no problem. Alright, the Odyssey has powered up! Alright, off to the Snow Kingdom then. There's a lot of kingdoms in this place. Well then again, we are going across the world. So yeah, to the Snow Kingdom we go! And off goes the Odyssey. <sighs> and off go the memories. I'll be back home soon, Kala. I promise. And the Odyssey's really starting to take shape. It looks like a big bubble is forming on top of it. Or like a big round sail, essentially. Alright. Fly over the rainbow. Time to get chilly. Mario, you're definitely gonna need thicker clothes for this place, I'm sure. Because, uh, yeah. Tropical clothes in the snow? Not a good combo. So Bowser wants to make a toast using the sparkle water? Sounds like this wedding sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip. Ground pound jump. When you want to get up high and a regular jump won't quite do it, jump right after a ground pound. This so-called ground pound jump will give you the boost you need. Well, there it is. Let's check out the snow kingdom next. Ugh. It looks so cold, it sounds like the races in town are quite popular, and the prize is a frost-frosted cake? How do you make a cake with frost as the frosting? Like, do you put it in a fridge? Whoa! Okay, that is one intense blizzard! It actually kind of reminds me of, like, one of the bosses in the upcoming DLC. The Cake Thief's Parting Gift. Oh boy. Well, looks like we're gonna be exploring <sighs> quite a cold environment. Oh, poor Mario! Hold on, let's go change first! <laughs> oh, that's not dilly dally. Yeah, good freaking idea. Alright, let's change into something a bit thicker, shall we? Alright, the thickest outfit we have is the aviator's outfit. So let's go with that first. I mean, it's no snow outfit, but it's thick enough to survive the cold. I don't want Mario or Cappy freezing their heads off, right? Alright, so we need to head to... Whoa! Okay, a lot of these platforms are kind of thin. Okay, so jump through here. Okay, yeah. These little points are like markers. Wait, it's over here. Whoa! Okay, yeah, definitely gotta move fast. Alright then. That was, uh, close. I don't want to imagine what would happen if we fell in the water here. Alright, above the ice well. Whoa, boy! I should have read that a bit more carefully. Yeah, real ice well, all right. But what the... Uh... Oh, no, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. A shiveria, huh? I can see why it'd be called that. Quite cold. All right, souvenirs. It's a place. All right, what's going on here? That monster stole a racing prize. The Frost Frosted Cake. As if that weren't bad enough, he plugged the entrance to a race course. We need power moons to get back in. Aww. I like big cuddly puppy dogs. Oh, I've got to help them somehow. Probably by beating Bowser back to Kingdom Come. <laughs> that makes sense, you know, Mushroom Kingdom, Kingdom Come, you know. I, I, I thought it was funny. All right, so, okay, we've got the Icicle Tower. All right, and Goomba's a plenty. Uh-oh. I see those icicles. That ain't good news. Gotta be careful, otherwise... Whoa! Okay. If I'm not careful, those things will hurt ya. Although, it seems to me that if you let them land, they create platforms for Goombas to hit the switch, and that leads to a power moon. This time, they're orange. Huh. Well, all right, then. Ice dodging Goomba stack. Do we need the Goombas anymore, though? I don't think so. But let's see how long we can last with them anyway. Just for funsies. That's a 
big icicle. I have a feeling we need to get that to fall down to create a path. All right, I'm abandoning the Goombas, cause yeah, no need them no more. Avoid the icicles. Avoid getting crushed by them. And just grab as many coins as possible, it seems. Aw, now I wish I had kept them, cause aw, the purple coins here are like little snowflakes. Ah well. Okay, I guess we gotta ground pound this thing. Or not. Oh, okay, I see what we got here. Huh. Can we get through the floor here somehow? Yep, by ground pounding this. Or not. Okay, it was let the icicles fall on it. Oops. Should have thought that one through a bit more. Well, at least this gives me a chance to do the Goomba stack thing that I was talking about. So I guess it's an opportunity. That and Goombas don't slip on the ice, it seems. So doing this is actually kind of useful. All right, come here. Stack them up. Four Goombas. All right, let's get up there. Well, I think it's cause like Goombas have like special feet that make them, you know, like braver to the elements, I suppose. And thankfully the icicles create a path for them. So I guess they intended for you to do it like this if you so wanted to. That's smart game design, I think. All right, watch out. This goes down. All right, let's stack those Goombas up. Five, six, seven. All right, let's grab those. All right, so the trick to this is letting the icicles fall on it instead of trying to ground pound it like I was doing, like a fool. And then once all three are down, that causes the big icicle in the middle to drop. Although we didn't drop with it for some strange reason. I don't know why, but whatever. You got a power moon? That should help these citizens out. Taking down the icicle barrier. Still need eight more to go before we can leave this kingdom, so we got a ways to go. Oh, I see. So each of the pathways, each door leads to a different power move. Okay, well that certainly makes things a bit more interesting. The energy of the power moon seems to open those barriers. Yep, certainly does. So we've taken care of the first one. So let's go on to the next path. We are coming short on time though. We'll take care of this one, which is gathering up moon shards and what? Whoa! Okay, so gotta avoid the shadows, because they create big platforms that then chomp ya. Although, if you use them to your advantage, you can get some collectibles. Smart. Catch it anything one of the moon shards is actually up above it. Oh, it's not. I honestly thought they would have done that. Like, put a moon shard, like, up above that you'd have to use them to collect. You know, make it a little extra challenge. But I guess not. Kind of surprised they didn't go that route. Oh, but I see that you have to use them to get to the power moon. Okay, well that's a bit smarter. Would have been interesting to see them use this as an entire puzzle mechanic in all honesty. Alright, up we go. Chomp. And those things must be hungry. Like, they must not get a proper meal because most of their meals just jump away as soon as they're about to bite. I kind of wonder what it's like for them. Wait, hold on a minute. What's this? Hold up, I see a secret! Uh, Mario, can you grab the thing? D no, don't hit it with your head. Watch out for the bite. All right, let's just climb our way to the side. There's a treasure chest. And inside is a power moon. Awesome, treasure in the ice wall. Sweet. Got something extra for our troubles. All right, now I'm gonna try to slide my way back across, just like angle it just right. Yes, all right. Let's get on over and grab ourselves a, a, yeah, let go, and let's get another power moon. All right, puts us up to four for this kingdom, with the ice wall barrier. All right, six more to go. All right, and with that, another one of the barriers should open, which means two more to go. All right, now let's head back up there, because, yeah, I don't want to end this episode down here. All right, there were four barriers, so you've got two to go. That we do. But I'll save that for the next episode, because we've already done quite a bit. We explored an entire seaside kingdom, well, at least the surface of it, and we've explored part of the snow kingdom. So tune in next episode as we continue to help the denizens of the snow kingdom. But till then, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from the episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when Mugman, Mario, and Cappy are helping these kingdoms. Also, share this video around, because honestly, you could really use the warm-up. It's pretty cold. And with that, this is Mugman, and I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye!